Joe Biden makes a play to lower the soaring cost of prescription drugs in the United States. The Biden administration on Tuesday released a list of 10 prescription drugs Medicare can now negotiate lower costs on. This includes medicine that is used to treat diabetes, cancer, and heart disease. The Biden administration even included insulin products, which surprised many people, according to media. The White House said that the price negotiations could lead to some hundred billion over the next decade. This move is seen as a major blow to Big Pharma, which has been fighting this plan in courts since the passing of the Inflation Reduction Act last year, which gave Medicare the authority to negotiate drug costs. This could be a good deal for people who need and depend on those prescription drugs. I personally like to see that people be able to get their prescription drug costs lowered. It's highway robbery to cost of prescription drugs in the United States. They say Americans pay the most in the world for prescription drugs, which is crazy. But in all actuality, Joe Biden just talks the same way all politicians do. He said he would knock down student loan debt. To my knowledge, that never even happened. That's because they're paid to sell you a dream. The Democrats and Republicans are branches off the same tree. An illusion to make it appear as if you have a choice in the voting process. When we really have no choice, it's already been decided by the makers, the people behind the scenes that call the shots. But we'll have to see how this thing plays out. It could be a good thing, and I believe it will for those people who depend on prescription drugs and need them. But Big Pharma isn't just going to lay down and take this blow. They're probably going to tie this thing up in the courts for a long time. Just my take on the matter. Peace.